What's good, everybody? Back like we never left. Thank you guys for tuning in today. If you're new to the channel, my name is Weave, and here we discuss your personal growth and development, your careers in business and entrepreneurship, and your personal relationships. So we want you to become official to the squad. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can become official to the squad and become a part of these daily updates. We always find ways to constantly improve on our lives each and every day. So today, we're gonna discuss why you keep wasting time just talking. I'm ready to get into it. So without further ado, let's get into it right now. You ever meet somebody that just always has a plan? Yo, I'm going back to school, then I'm gonna go start this business, then I'm in there like swimwear. Or yo, I'm gonna get this second job, I'm gonna save up, then I'm moving into this new place. Or yo, I can't wait till I'm able to not have to depend on this or that person so I can do this on my own. Or maybe I'm planning on starting this new business venture and I'm gonna be super successful. Yeah, that person talks a lot, but never puts anything into action. So a year from now, five years from now, they seem to still be stuck in the same position. Yeah, there are always these people and they talk such a good game. And maybe you watching this video right now, maybe you're one of them. But the reason you don't do something is because what motivates you isn't changing your life. No, that's not what motivates you. You just been motivated by talking about changing your life, talking about being motivated. Because growth is painful, it's scary, it's different. There's no safety net. That unknown factor, that I gotta put down how much? Oh wait, I can't use this as a fallback no more? That sense of security you always have, it won't be there if you go out on that limb. And what happens if that tree branch breaks? See, your life doesn't get better by chance. It gets better by change. And change is sometimes too uncomfortable for people. We sometimes get stuck in this mindset of comfort. And although we wanna change like deep down, we want to be better, it's the psychological aspect of it. The thought of, wait, so I won't have this to fall back on. I'll have to learn something new. And it scares the literal hell out of us. What do we do to justify it? We talk about it. It's the, yeah, I plan on. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, wait till I do this first and then I'll get to it. Oh man, next year? Or, oh man, I'ma get to it. And it never comes to fruition. And not because you don't want it to, but because that fear, fear of the unknown, that's what we fear most all of the time. Wait, I don't know what's gonna happen if something happens. You know, Confucius has a quote about fear that I love. And he said, if you look into your heart and you find nothing wrong there, then what is there to worry about? What is there to fear? The reason I love this quote is because it delves into our deepest desires, our deepest wants out of a life. See, what we do is we restrict that feeling because most times we don't have enough self-confidence. And your heart, that's the most important part of what Confucius was talking about, that your heart is telling you, yes, go for it. It's telling you, yes, go be. But up here in your head, you think about all of those societal conditions. And what do I mean by societal conditions? What have you always seen on TV and in movies? What have you seen out of your friends and your family members when you were growing up? And maybe even out of someone you have personally seen fail and fall hard times, fall like flat on their face, it causes you to see limits and boundaries and caution tape that says, nah, this is a little too far. And I'm here to tell you that it's not too far. You have to push past that limit. And honestly, until you get out of your own way, until you understand that you are powerful beyond measure, until you understand that you are your only limit in this life, you won't truly experience life. The way you were meant to be, the way like life was meant to happen for you, you won't truly experience it. You were meant to fail. You were meant for struggle. You were meant for trials and tribulations. 
but you were also meant for success, for financial freedom, for great relationships, for traveling the world. You were meant to truly experience life. Not just experience life. Experience life the way you want to experience life. But you have to be open to experience both the successes and your failures, the growth through the pain. But I caution you, don't get stuck, okay? Don't get stuck in that mental prison of convincing and talking yourself out of where you really want to be. More importantly, don't ever get stuck not unleashing your inner potential. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Be about the life you want. Be about the money you want. Be about your career. Be about your future. Be about your growth. Be about your craft. Be about your art. Be about your schooling. Be about your personal and growth development. It's the only way of you winning in life. Action is the only way to make your dreams a reality. And that happiness that you seek through life, that financial freedom you seek to do whatever it is, whatever you want, it's right there. So all that talk you've been doing, it's a got exactly where you are right now. So you can either go B, you can go achieve the attainable, or you can give up on it. But you will only find your limits in this life by pushing them. Thank you guys for tuning in today. If no one has told you this today already, I appreciate you. If you didn't already and you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out and that bell notification. Come be an official part of the squad. We're going to grow this community. I'm going to head out right now, but until I see you guys next time, as always, peace.